Hello everybody, Ellis Motion here, and welcome back to another LEGO video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new LEGO Minecraft Summer 2022 Wave. There's a lot of new LEGO Minecraft sets and figures to show in this video, so without further ado, let's get right into the video with the first set coming out in Summer 2022. The smallest set of the Wave is LEGO Minecraft set 21184, The Bakery. This set comes with 154 pieces and is ages 8+. plus. The set is a pretty interesting looking design, not my favorite looking LEGO Minecraft set, but it's still a pretty decent build. We have the bakery build at the back there. It looks, it's, it looks okay. It has a nice blue roof, a little bit of a wool pattern on the front. And at the front here we can see a bit of a table with some baked goods. We have a cookie, a new piece for the bread, which is not printed, which is a little unfortunate but it still works nicely. And we also have the return of the square cake. Nice to see that come in more LEGO Minecraft sets. We have a bit of a play feature at the corner there with a chest that is able to be blown up by the creeper. Very nice to see a new chest in the LEGO Minecraft sets. So they all have a nice flat top. There's also a bit of a garden at the corner there. We have some wheat growing there, a little waterfall, as well as some sugar cane there. So we have a brand new LEGO Minecraft goat. I think this is a pretty nice looking design. It is it not the best looking design? They kind of, I think they could have had a nicer, darker gray print or mold for the horns there, but I won't complain too much. We've got a lot worse in the past. This is really good. It's still pretty accurate. And yeah, I think it works very nicely. And I think this is actually a pretty accurate looking figure. We have the Return of the Creeper. We've got that since 2014. We have a LEGO Minecraft skin. I'm not a big fan of the dyed hair, but other than that, nice to get new LEGO Minecraft skins. Won't complain about that. And the last figure in the set, which is probably my favorite figure of the set, is the Farmer Villager. We have a brand new molded hat. I'm not sure if you're able to take the hat off or if it's stuck on there like what they did with the witch figure. We'll have to wait and see when we get these new LEGO Minecraft sets. But very nice to get more villagers. This is actually a Snow Tundra Villager with the Farmer hat. But yeah, just very, very happy to get a farmer villager. It's going to look great in my future LEGO Minecraft mock. The next set of the wave is one of the better ones in my opinion. This is LEGO Minecraft set 21185, the Nether Bastion. This set will come with 300 pieces and will be ages 8+. plus. Now this set has a lot of cool things going on here. We get our first LEGO Minecraft official Bastion build. Very cool to get that. We have a new nether wart design. Another one of the new LEGO Minecraft chests. You'll actually be seeing this in all of the new sets throughout the wave. We have some netherite ingots in there with the ingot molded piece. Very cool to get that. We have a TNT explosion play feature at the back. You can kind of blow up the already decaying LEGO Minecraft Bastion. We have an official build for the basalt pieces. Looks pretty decent. I think they could have done a little bit better, but that piece does represent those blocks very nicely in my opinion. We have a little area with a bit of a warped forest as well. We have a blue fire piece in the new LEGO Minecraft mold. Very cool to get a blue fire version of that. But other than that, not really too much going on here for the build. But for the figures, we once again have a lot of new LEGO Minecraft figures. We have a new LEGO Minecraft skin with some netherite armor. We have a netherite helmet as well as a netherite sword and a fishing rod with a warped mushroom on it as well. We also get the return of the big magma cube. This is actually a slightly different design. It's a little less of a rectangle shape, which is nice to see. It also opens up in three layers when you make a jump. Very nice to see this figure come back. I think it looks a little bit better than the 2017 version. Definitely one of the best Lego Minecraft figures out there. We have a brand new Piglin Brute. We have a very nice printing on the head. We have some printing on the torso. Just a very nice looking figure, very cool figure to get. We also have the return of the Piglin figure. Just another great figure that was released last year. Nice to see these come out in more LEGO Minecraft sets. And lastly, we have a Strider, which is a interesting looking build. I think they made it a little too square. I think it's supposed to be more of a rectangle shape. Looks a bit funny. Not the best looking LEGO Minecraft figure in my opinion. Once again, we've had worse figures in Nether sets. This is way better than what we've got in the past so i'm willing to deal with this figure i think it still looks pretty good and i'm excited to have this in my collection the next set of the wave is lego minecraft set 21186 the ice castle this set comes with 499 pieces and is also ages 8 plus this is a pretty cool looking lego minecraft set taking place in a icy snow biome with a bit of a tundra the build is a simple ice castle design with some fence pillars kind of going up the sides it's made up of snow and stone we have a nice purple carpet in the back with a throne. 
Once again, new LEGO Minecraft chest. We got an anvil, a stone cutter, and it looks like we have a healing potion as well as maybe a swiftness potion brewing over there in the brewing stand. The set comes with a lot of figures. We have two skeletons, two zombies, as well as two LEGO Minecraft skins. We get a Yeti skin with a crossbow, as well as what looks like to be a ice princess skin with a new printed shield. Very cool to see that, as well as a diamond sword. Other than that, not really too much to say about the set. It looks pretty cool. It's not my favorite set of the wave, but still a pretty interesting one. I think I will enjoy once I get this. It's actually pretty nicely priced at $49. I think that's a fair deal, fair price for the set. We get a lot of figures for that price and a fair amount of pieces. So not too much to complain about with pricing there. I think it's gonna be a cool set that a lot of people enjoy. And I think it's going to be a cool one just to build up your army of zombies and skeletons as well if you don't have a lot of those figures. And the next set is probably my favorite set of the wave. This is LEGO Minecraft set 21187, The Red Barn. Very descriptive name by the way. This set comes with 799 pieces and is ages 9+. plus. Now this set is literally a red barn. It is actually a very nice looking design. It's actually closed off on all sides. We have a bit of a garden at the front where we're growing some carrots, some wheat, and we have a little bit of a composter there as well, as well as a little horse pen on the exterior. Here you can actually access the interior by opening the barn up dollhouse style, where we have two different levels. The upper level has some hay bales, as well as a chest and a bed. And the lower level has some more horse pens and stuff like that. This set actually introduces the diamond axe, which is another piece I've been wanting to get from LEGO for so long. We finally get a diamond axe. Very nice to see that in this LEGO Minecraft set. Very nice interior, very open, very spacious. Just very, very hard to find a LEGO Minecraft set. Build design that is not a giant animal. That's right. We're getting sets that aren't giant animals. I know we haven't got to the last one yet. I'll talk about that one. It may, it may or may not be a giant animal, but hey, enjoy these ones. They're not giant animals. We're getting unique designs and it's just nice to see. And we also get some very nice figures in the set. We get the return of the baby cow as well as the full grown cow. We get a orange horse, which is slightly different than the horse from the fortress set. We also get the return of the goat figure from the first set. Very nice to get another one of those. We also get a new Lego Minecraft skin and we also get another farmer villager, this time in the jungle outfit. Very interesting choice for the jungle character, but still very nice to have more types of villagers. And the last figure in the set is a chicken jockey with the return of the baby zombie as well as the chicken. Very funny inclusion to have in the set. And the last set is Lego Minecraft set 21188. The Llama Village. This set will come with 1,252 pieces and it is ages 9 plus. Now of course, a LEGO Minecraft wave isn't a LEGO Minecraft wave without a giant animal build and here we have a gigantic llama. This is actually a very interesting and detailed design. There are a few inaccuracies like there are white fences, those don't exist in game and there are a few other things with this build but it does look pretty good. You could take a top panel off and open up two side doors to reveal a very cozy looking interior. We have a fish tank with a puffer fish, two beds, some end tables with some candles. We have some bookshelves, chairs, and a just a very nice and open interior. You can fit a lot in there. The llama has a spitting play feature, which I think is pretty cool. And at the bottom here, we can see a nice grassy area where we have a village bell. Very nice design for that. And there are a bunch of modules for these little village trading shacks. We have a blacksmith area as well as another just normal trading area. You can kind of pretend that is anything you want it to be. Very cool there. At the bottom of the giant llama, we have a little pen for the llama figures to stay. Very cool to have that there. And we also have in the top next section of the llama, a map. Not sure if that's a new map or if it is the old one, but either or, very nice to get more LEGO Minecraft maps. We also get a blast furnace for the first time in the set, which I think is going to be pretty cool. Very nice to get one of those. But yeah, the set has a lot going on. Very cool looking build, but we have even cooler LEGO Minecraft figures. The set comes with a brand new dark orange llama figure, as well as a baby llama figure that is white. Very cool to get more of the LEGO Minecraft llamas. They're some of the most accurate LEGO Minecraft figures, so very nice to get more of those. We get a pink baby sheep for the first time. Very nice to get more colored sheep in a LEGO Minecraft set. 
we have the return of both the Pillager as well as the Vindicator. If I said that correct, that's a Vindicator, right? We also get two Savannah Villagers. We get a normal, just generic Savannah Villager, as well as a Savannah Blacksmith. Very nice to get another Villager that I've been wanting for a very long time. We also have two new LEGO Minecraft skins. We have a Knight, as well as another LEGO Minecraft Farmer. Very nice to get even more brand new LEGO Minecraft skins and a LEGO Minecraft set. And that is it for the LEGO Minecraft June 2022 wave. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this LEGO Minecraft wave. Do you think LEGO is moving in the right direction? I personally think this is going to be a really good LEGO Minecraft wave. Other than the higher prices, I've, I have a feeling the prices are high for a reason. I think there's a valid reason behind that. But other than that, we get lots of new figures. We get lots of cool builds. And overall, just very, very happy with this wave. That's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. And I'll see you guys in another LEGO video. Have a great day. It's gone. Oh no, he's right there. Oh no, he's coming out! No! <laughs>